Hi everyone. Today we will talk about cascaded selectors. The cascaded selectors. Uh, in this example, I have three regions: central, eastern, and western. And each regions, I have different number of cities and different cities. I want when I select from the first selector, the first region here is central, for example. The drop the other the drop down menu or drop down box display only cities in that region so in first region here in central I have Riyadh, Qasim, Al Kharj, Hafouf and Raya if I change it uh, selected the eastern region here in the city one it will display the Mam and Khuba and if I change it to western it uh, will show uh, the Jeddah, Mecca and Medina Notice that the number of cities is not equal. So in uh, central region we have here five cities, and in uh, eastern region we have here two cities, and in western region we have th three cities. And as you can see, uh, uh, the, the cities is changed on the fly according to the selected region. Let's try to do this together. First, we will start by adding two selectors to my uh, dashboard canvas. Here I will add uh, two combo box. The first one for the region, and the second one is for the city. It's better also uh, always to give a title for your uh, components. Here I will name this as region, type region, and in the other uh, combo box make it city because this will display the city. Now I have uh, a list with regions. The list of regions is static. So I have only three regions, and I will select one of the three regions, Central, Eastern, and West. So the first combo box is a straightforward. Here I will select labels, and in labels I will select this, uh, the list of the three regions that I have. Uh, on the fly, I want to insert the selected region in the yellow cell here. So on the fly, when I select a region from the three listed uh, regions here, it will insert the selected region in the yellow cell area here. So I can make some uh, for, uh, formula or manipulation to retrieve the cities under this region. So uh, I will go to insertion type here and I will select label because I want to insert the label central, eastern, western based on the selected one. And the destination I will select the yellow cell here k1 because i will make my calculation and my formula based on this yellow cell i will press ok and uh, you notice that by default the, there is no selected label here if you want to make uh, a default uh, selected region uh, you can do this by go to behavior and go to uh, the selected item here under item no selection change it to label one so you can change it to label 2 or 3 and you can select the default region by uh, to choose the central or eastern or western which will show uh, as a default when you start your dashboard now let's come to the uh, tricky part I will uh, convert, uh, switch my view to a spread sheet only and let's navigate our data here now I have a table that displays the relationship between uh, region and city. For example, here it would give you the region and the city under this region. Uh, I have here central and the, uh, the five regions, five cities under uh, this region, eastern region, and the two cities under eastern region, western and the three cities under western region. Uh, the trick here I added also an ID like to give you a numbering like uh, this is the first this one mean this is the first city in central region two means this is the second uh, city in central region and so on and i will uh, restart the numbering when i start the new region for example here i have eastern this is means the uh, mam was the first region eastern in the uh, first city in eastern region and so on and on the left hand side here in the P column I constructed my key my key is very simple it will take the central and concatenate it with the ID to 
the city ID to give you like a unique key identifier for each row. So I will have a, a unique a key for each uh, couple of region and city. Here the, I use the ampersand just to concatenate the two strings here, the region and the ID. Now the tricky part, I want to construct the dynamic city selector. Here I make this formula which is a VLOOKUP. The VLOOKUP con cons uh, the formula consists of two parts. The first part is trying to check if I uh, if my uh, city number is uh, should be displayed or not. For example, here I have city number one. So if I select the central, I have five uh, cities under central. So uh, this city should be displayed when I select the central. And uh, this two, three, four, and five. So all cities will be displayed if I select the central. But let's take another example. If I selected Eastern, here I have in the, this summary table that I know that there is only two cities under Eastern. So it will start compare. This is the first city, and my uh, let's do it here. I will take Eastern. I will paste it uh, manually here, just uh, to demonstrate the the purpose of this uh, formula. Click OK. Now. You can notice what is what's happening here in this column. It's display only two cities because I only uh, I know that there is only two cities under east. And what happened? It will check if I am um, uh, one. Uh, yes, it's less than or equal uh, two. So I can display this record. Two is less than or equal two. Then I will display this record. Three. This is there is no uh, city three under east. So I will display it as blank here. This is done by a trick here. Look, I have this if condition that will try to compare K2, which contains the region. Uh, K2, uh, sorry, it will contain the city ID. And it will try to VLOOKUP uh, here. This VLOOKUP will uh, retrieve the number of city in the selected region. Let's take this on a separate cell. And paste it here. Sorry. So here it will do what? It will take this cell, which is K1. Uh, here uh, the selected region will enter in this cell. And I will try to uh, check in this range. And I will uh, view look up on this range and I will retrieve the second column. Here, because I selected Eastern, it will return to this record, and now it will start to compare. If my city ID is less than or equal to this, so this record should be displayed. Otherwise, the record will not be displayed, and so on. The second uh, row will display it also. Third, uh, uh, third one will not display because it's greater than or equal the number of cities in that region. Okay. The other part is. <coughs> just a VLOOKUP to retrieve the city's city name under uh, this region. It is a tricky because it will try to concatenate this city ID with the selected region. Uh, please note the selected region is a dynamic, so this will change on the fly. It will concatenate Eastern and 1, so it will try to search for Eastern 1. Eastern 1 here, it will retrieve this record. The highlighted one and the, the first city in the eastern region is the MAM, so it will retrieve the MAM. Here also, it will try to do the same. It will check first shall I display this record? It is a if condition will pass, and I will go to the retrieve the, the required data. Here, I will go to the I will check the second city in eastern. Uh, which mean uh, the key for this is Eastern 2. Here I will go. Where is Eastern 2? Uh, Eastern 2. Uh, here my city is Khobar. So uh, let's uh, now uh, map our uh, our second selector to the region to to the cities here. So here I will go to labels, select cities, 
by uh, maximum number of cities is five. So I will select 